Well, hey there. My party is still going on. It's your Wisconsin wine guy hanging out at Tootin' Cakes. Shop local. Support your local wine shop. Support your local wine bar. Keep it going. Keep it real. Keep it happy. Keep it party. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I slow down. So you got music hanging out in the background. It's a wild Saturday night here at Tootin' Cakes. And uh, I'm doing wine reviews. You know? So, for those who are new, these are wines that you can find at your local wine shop. You can find at liquor stores. You can find at grocery stores. You know, wherever you shop for wine, you should be able to find some of these wines. I give these wines a taste and give you my opinion of what I think about the wines with the infamous rating system. Thumbs up! Means, you know, I, highly re I recommend that wine. It's a solid wine. You know what? You can't go wrong with it. Three quarters, you know, uh, I had this at a party. I was taking it. I shared it with my friends, they were digging it, so I took a few bottles home, halfway. Mm, wow. You know, kind of disappointed, but I'll tell you why that wine didn't work for me. Thumbs down, easy one. Get it out, get it out. Don't do it. But these are my opinions. Give it a try and then let us all know what you think. So let's get to the show. Today or tonight, here partying at Two Cates on a Saturday night. Any Saturday night, but a Saturday night. We're going to be doing, looking at Tortoise Creek Merlot 2019 out of Clarksburg. Clarksburg, ABA. All right? So we're talking somewhere between San Francisco and Sacramento, right? So now, alcohol coming in at 14.5%. So now let's do this. Tortoise Creek. So this is going to be a blend of a little bit of uh, Merlot, Merlot predominantly, Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Petit Syrah. Okay, so we have all those grapes in here, aged in both French and American oak. All right. So now, for those who follow me, you know how I feel about Merlot. People ask me, so what kind of wine do you like? I say the better question is, what's my favorite grape? What is Merlot? Right. Forget sideways. It's Merlot. Now, for me, Merlot is like in three different categories. It's going to be bold, robust, you know, good structure, heavy, hefty. You know, it sits. Here's a Cabernet. Here's a Merlot right here. It sits right underneath, right? Next in line, it's going to be number two. It's going to be like, you know, medium body, you know, but but nice structure, good balance to it, you know. You get nice toast, to oh, you know. But then you have the third level, which is going to be just right, fruity, easy to drink. But the common denominator in each of those is going to be there must be a nice fruity presence. It has to be like fruity sweet. Most people think, you know, Merlot sweet or Merlot sweet dry. It must be a nice fruity presence, but have balance or have structure, you know. So when I think of Merlot, it's going to be in one, two, or three categories. And when I have my shot, it went like this. As soon as I tasted it, if I wasn't like falling over and all in love with the wine, that wasn't the right for long. Okay, so we're gonna keep it real, we're gonna keep it light, we're gonna keep it just like that. So now, get a look at this wine. We know this is a blend, it's not 100% Merlot, but it's a blend of a few grapes, you know, but predominantly Merlot. Beautiful color on this Merlot here. Deep purple colors to it, very nice on the nose. Oh, you definitely get those scenery notes, no wood notes, spice. Part was new, oh. Hey, a little bit of combination of new and used, oh. But scenery notes for Stewart on this one here. Definitely spice on here. Okay, so to get those vanilla, you get more of the spicy notes. Ramble berries. <laughs> okay, so you get dark berries. Sort of bit of plum. <laughs> But more dark berries here, okay? So now, but that cedar note comes straight through, which for me, it says, okay, wow, this is gonna have like that, maybe that like toothpick, woody taste to it. You get those legs, you probably can see it here, but those legs are deep, baby, deep leg. So, two step process, remember the taste. We're gonna give it a taste. First step, acidity. No acidity, absolutely, without a doubt, no play, without going any further, that's an instant thumbs down for me. I don't care if it's a red wine, we need to have some liveliness to the wine. So here we go, acidity taste. 
Alright, so, acidity is nice, okay, tanners are nice, medium, alright, so I can't complain that way, alright, but that's the acidity taste, we're not tasting if this is the Merlot that I'm just going to go crazy for, we're just tasting for acidity and balance, so a good structure of tannins, nice acidity, you know, the fruit's there, but now, for the taste, here we go. Am I gonna fall in love? Am I gonna fall out? What's gonna happen? Category one, category two, category three. Or it could just be like, neither. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna tell you right now, Sorry. As far as when I taste the Merlot, as that's the one, that's not the one for me. Okay? Here's what I get. That I spoke about it on the nose now. You know, get that, that cedar taste, that wood taste. And all of a sudden, I, I get an idea what it's going to taste like. All right? But I was fair. I tasted three or four times. Okay, two or three times. But when I tasted it, okay, nice nice tannic structure but that that woody taste to it you know it's just for me it just kind of kills it yeah kind of kills it will it be different with food possibly i don't know so maybe different with food but it hits my tongue and it's very astringent you know, it's like, like it's scrubbing, like So it's very astringent, and that's not the tannin. It kind of makes my tongue curl, all right? So I have to say, for me, the Tortoise Creek 2019 Merlot, I, I mean, I'm very hard when I'm gonna be hard on Merlot. I have to give this one a thumbs down. I mean, that's that's just not the one for me, you know? That's, that's so sad, you know? I, I give another taste, another taste. Oh, it's raining. Hey, nice work, wine connoisseur. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, I'll tell you this. Tell you this. For Rule number two when it tastes a Merlot. If I got taste it a second time, it's definitely not the one. Okay? So, Tortoise Creek 2019 Merlot. I got to give it a thumbs down. That's not working for me. Uh, so, there you have it, Wisconsin Wine Guy. They all can't be great wines. They all can't be good wines. But you know what? Let your fellow meaty guy taste it. Let me know, let the rest of us know what you think, and I'll see you next time when we begin to taste wine again in review. Remember, as always, that you're telling me the guy. I'm going to continue jamming here at 2 Kate. See you next time. Ciao!